So before we start, uh, I just want to acknowledge that I have spoken few events, but today uh, mark my first demo speaking event in Microsoft CSI community. I'm here to share my passion and knowledge. I want to acknowledge that uh, I'm not expertise and like you guys, you have like so much experience. So if I do any mistake or overlook something, so kindly ignore and I appreciate your patience and understanding. I am Shiv Sharma. I'm experienced Microsoft professional. I have worked in Microsoft 65 Power Platforms, SharePoint. I worked in client-side coding, REST API, REST-JS. So I just quickly start with uh, this team, uh, team chat bot, uh, which is built in Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. So basically, this is a, a chat bot uh, where uh, you need to, uh, you get all the information such as employee names, leave balance, uh, PLCL, your uh, recognitions total, everything, right? So uh, I will quickly focus you the demo. You. So this is our uh, chatbot where uh, we can integrate in teams. So we have just uh, right to need uh, right underscore get then followed by the username. So let's say I want to uh, get Charles data, right? So we just quickly enter underscore get and username. So it will what it will do. It will go in uh, in your database and it will get the data from your SharePoint, right? So here like Charles is a username and the band it E8. Dyson is SharePoint developer. Number of days he is present in office like 19. Days absent 3. Leave balance 23. Remaining uh, casual leaves are 15. Remaining PL are 8. Total recognition are 6. Right? So we can get all data like this. Underscore get Michael. It will fetch the data and it will show the other user data. All information like this. So I will quickly show you the flow. How it's working, how it's triggering, right? So as you can see, uh, this flow will trigger when a new chat message is added. So what we are doing is initially we initialize variables. So this variable we are uh, initialized for the team's message, which we are typing. So whenever we uh, type any message, so we first need to initialize and after that we need to extract name. So let me uh, quickly showcase you. We will uh, take this flow manually. So as once we trigger it manually, it will wait for a trigger. Sorry. So here we come and we are triggering the flow manually. underscore get James and we press enter. So once we press enter, our flow will trigger. Mm, I hope this is the flow. Wait, let me check the flow. Right. So this is the flow. I want to show you the body of the message and how is we are parsing the data. So here we are getting the data. You can see output, right? So here in output, this is the whole output, but we do not need this whole output. We just need body and inside body, we need plain text. That is one, one other body. And then this is a plain text that we ask our query, right? Get gems. So for, uh, for that, we need to parse the whole message. So for that, we need to get the username. So we are parsing the data here. You can see here we get all the body inside body. We have another body that is this, this particular section. And here we are getting this plain text. So another one more time we have to parse it. So we are parsing one more time here. And here we get the body after parsing it, right? So this is our message right so we are setting it in this variable after that now we are checking because each and every uh, flow will not trigger on the each and every input so we are validated once it validate it will check whether it's be, uh, whether it be a uh, valid user or not so we are val uh, validating here and after that we are just uh, hitting get 
items which is uh, used for SharePoint uh, items and all. So here we are getting the data, and after that we are using apply to each and post same message in the chat. Right. So this is uh, all about this Teams chatbot, which is built in Microsoft Teams and Power Automate. Thank you.